Morning YouTube. This is a Dirty Paws production uh, review video. I have a uh, review of a EDC fixed blade knife that I wanted to talk about today. And this, this little guy just happens to be it. Uh, where I live, it gets fairly cold in the wintertime. You find yourself wearing jeans and, and belts and long johns and things of that nature. Uh, you know, you people who live in colder climates know what I'm talking about. And uh, anyhow, I, I always kind of wanted a fixed blade, but just, you know, for practical purposes, never really realized how practical they can be. So I've always kind of carried folders, but thought it was time to switch it up, maybe see what was available. So when I was doing that, I came across this little guy. Um, you know, I know Bark River's been in business now for, oh, I don't know, quite a few years, it seems like. Been a big fan since they first started out over there. And uh, always thought they made some really beautiful, beautiful knives. Uh, so I started my search there, and, I mean, they have quite the selection. You can get knives in different handle shapes, sizes, uh, materials. In fact, there's some ones that, you know, once you get started over there looking at stuff, you're, you're going to get eventually potentially hooked <laughs> on collecting them because they're just that damn nice. But um, anyhow, it was between this little guy and probably a oh, Bradford Guardian 3, which is a similar size, offers Scout Carry. I believe the Bradford's a little bit larger, a similar size handle. Um, but uh, just in, in my opinion, and, and, and I've heard good things about the Guardian, and I've read good reviews and watched reviews about it, and... Uh, it's a good knife. I don't want to say it's not, but it just was lacking the the thing that, that made your, your heart kind of go, that's the one. And this knife had that. I mean, the only thing about this knife that I didn't like uh, was the, well, and I don't want to say I don't like it, but I wish it had a scout carry somewhere in here, which it doesn't. This, this has a couple of different options. This is a fairly standard um, sheath for uh, Bark River. You can slide your belt through here. And as you do that, as you can see, this part's higher than this part, and it kind of cants the, cants the blade in your, uh, on your belt. Or you could slide it through this ring here. If you slide it through this uh, slot here, you get more of a straight up and down carry on your belt sheath. But it is not scout carry. Scout carry would, be, would have been ideal. I guess you could do something, and I've seen it done with paracord, uh, where people go through here and turn this into a scout carry. Um, uh, I think that would kind of take away from... I mean, it, it would take away from the appearance, but I mean, I guess it's not always about appearance. It's appearance. It's about usefulness. But anyhow, this here is the Essential 2. This model happens to be in 20 CV. I'll pull it out here. Which is, I well, almost got some leather off there, uh, which is a uh, stainless steel, similar to M390, or in fact, I believe it's almost the same as uh, two, 204P and M390 and 20CV are all, all essentially the same. This little guy here, I don't know if it'll focus on that. Oh, I kind of sharpened it up a bit, so I've got, it's got a little bit of a polish. But uh, this has the Makume bolster. Uh, it looks like stainless. Uh, I, I believe these are Corby's. They're not. They're not pins. They're Corby's. Uh, they do also come in many different handle variations. They, they come with mosaic pins. Of course, you got the lanyard hole if you want to extend that a little bit. I believe this is about a two and a half inch blade, two and three quarter inch blade. Uh, this is the essential one. They do come in uh, another size, the essential two which is a little bit longer blade than this one by about a half inch. Uh, but this one, this one really fit the bill and it is just beautiful. Uh, this burled wood that they have on here just really caught my eye. It popped for me. And I found this little guy on eBay. They no longer make them in 20 CV. I believe it's M4 or 154 CM or CPM 154. I'm not sure which. But anyhow, I liked it enough. I wanted to do a, sh a short video on this. And kind of show it. There's there's a few videos out there of the essential, but not a lot. So uh, this little guy right here, it feels really good in the hand. I mean, as you can see, I've got a, I wear about a large, a large glove, and it's just enough that the pinky just grab it. It, it it's just about right. 
I mean, and even in the pinch grip, if you want to use it that way, you know, reverse your grip and whatnot. It, it just feels really good in the hand. Um, I really like this little uh, fooler here that they cut in here for for appearance, according to Mike Stewart. It was just something aesthetic that he really wanted to add, and I, I think it's fantastic. Uh, from what I understand, the 20 CV in these blades that, that they were using over at Bark River was people were complaining it was chippy or chip prone. Um, that's just, I haven't found that to be the case, but I'm not doing anything wild with this, with this blade. And, you know, uh, EDC cutting food. I use this even at dinner time, cut my, my steak with it, my chicken, what, what have you. It's a great slicer, uh, breaking down boxes, opening packages, you know, an EDC, the essential, you know, as far as cleaning, uh, field, field, Kills. I, I don't know how well it would perform in that task. Haven't used it in that in that manner, but uh, I have taken it hiking. It's lightweight. It disappears, you know, on the belt. You know, with it, you know, like I said, the sheath is high quality. This is this is a, just a nice little knife. And for size comparison, let me uh, let me put up here a pair of three. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can do this. This is the Paramilitary 3. Mm, similar. Very similar. Uh, maybe just a little bit larger. Well, in fact, it's a lot larger. So it's it's interesting to me that this is a fixed blade and it's and it's EDC, but this 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 little guy folds up, so that's that's kind of the convenience. But even with it folded. You can see its footprint is quite a bit wider. So that got me to thinking, how do I carry this in my pocket? Well, hold on a second. Before I do that, let me show you this alongside the pair of two. Now, the pair of two was my favorite EDC for a while. Still is. I still I still enjoy the pair of two. I got a little lanyard on there, but look at the size difference. I mean, look at that. When you look at the cutting edge, though, I mean, once you get past the pair of three choil, you're gaining about, no, oh, I don't know, what is that, about a half inch? Maybe a little over? But the size is just so much different. But anyhow, so I wanted to carry this in my pocket, and on the forums out there at, uh, on the Bark River forums there at, uh, on Facebook, I was browsing through the pictures because you know i like looking at them they, they, they make some really nice looking knives and i came across some people recommending these little devils this is uh from knife ship free or uh dlt i believe i believe it's dlt i got this from uh this is the delta insider and how this works is this is a magnet so you got a magnet here you got a magnet here slides into your pocket and as you can see that you slide this in your pocket pulls together and it just sits in the pocket uh, so when you slide this in it just it's it's no different than kind of a folding blade it, it's a little bit more bulk but it's it's not bad and this is this is the this is about 40 bucks on dlt now this guy I got on. I I feel I got a really good price on this guy. This I paid. Well, I don't want to say how much I paid, but <laughs> it was far less than what it retailed for, um, because they no longer make this. Like I said, with twenty CV. Um, it's a it's a good knife, and if uh, you're looking for a small EDC fixed blade, this might model not this particular one. This is this is mine, but. This model, the essential, might be what you're looking for. This might be up your alley. So, uh, I mean, that grip is comfortable. I don't, I'm going to take it outside and slice wood for you. I just sharpened it. But uh, if any if any of you are familiar with convex grinds, with convex grind is, uh, it's kind of, I've heard it described as apple seed. So, you know, I don't give the tutorial. It's just kind of a rounded apple seed shape down to the down to the edge unlike the para which is a flat grind which just has flat sides all the way up with a v bevel here at the bottom this is just a uh apple seed shape so if you if you looked at it you can't really tell from the video 
But if you looked at it, it goes from thick and it just kind of almost like a football type shape and it kind of tapers down to a point. There's really no V bevel to speak of on this on this knife. And that grind makes it just it makes it tough. Number one, makes it very easy to sharpen. Number two, uh, 20 CV being a higher vanadium content steel. Um, it, it does, it does. like I said, I've sharpened this. It does make it easier to sharpen. And then what you do is you just drop it. But that's, you know, not the intent of this video. I just wanted to show off this beautiful Bark River. So if you're in the market for an EDC fixed blade, um, I don't think you can go wrong. I mean, look at that. Look at that finish. There's no gaps. It's just smooth. It's just, uh, I don't think you can go wrong with a Bark River knife. So if you haven't already and you're not aware of who they are, you're looking for something like this. Now, now, they don't just make this model. They make a lot of different models with a lot of different handle materials. But I recommend giving them a look. Give them, give them a, a browse on the old interwebs. Uh, thanks for your time. Have a good one.